AS Fox Memorial Grand Final here at Mount Smart Stadium, live on Sky Sport 3. There is the team, Siaki, Suli, Alo, Takulua, Taumata, Torari, Kingi is one of the captains, Kavaliku, Tippins, Bird and Manukia, Epalahami Lawaki, there's a name you'll know well, Hanum, and they're coached by Bernie Perinara. Tell us, some people say they've got the blueprint for beating Point Chev after winning the last two games. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right, Mont. Um, we've had the wood on them all year, but, um, you know, like they always say, um, that counts for nothing during the year, so it comes down to, to, to today. Uh, yeah, so hopefully we can uh, get the job done. You've got experience five years in, in the final of the Fox, but also two Q internationals in Tavita Latu and also Kevin Locke. How do you combat those two? Uh, yeah, like I said, we've had the wood on them all year. Um, we've got an international in our team, Hame, but um, I think we just play to our strengths and get to our kicks and, um, yeah, just play through the middle where we've had them all year. So we're not going to change much from that today. Will they be watching this in the club rooms? 1999 was the last uh, time that you've won uh, the Fox. Can you do it again today? Yeah, I'd like to hope so, Mont. Um, that's the plan anyway, so, yeah, I think so. I'd like to hope to win today, yes. Good luck, man. Che cheers, Mont. Thank you. Yes, that's Salah the Sippy, the assistant coach of the Glenora Bears. But I like the, their style, Monts. They're just going, keep it simple, know what we do. Let's have a look at the Point Chevalier Pirates, the Ortex Point Chevalier Pirates. And they look like this coming into the final. You'll know some names, Solomoni. Francis Ledger, 192 points this year, 18 tries. 60 goals. Kevin Locke is back. Arona, Kepoa, Tivitalatu, Pali, Giriki, Moses. Uh, Dylan Moses, of course, the joint Fox Memorial Player of the Year. They are coached by Zane Pocklington. Say so five consecutive Fox finals. That's got to count for something. Yeah, definitely. I'm a, I mean, Point have, have had a very good uh, couple years. Um, Grunts has built a very good system and culture. And um, I know we get a lot of good boys coming to point but culture is a big part of why we keep making it the, to the finals um, I take my hat off to the boys they give up a lot of time away from family um, do the extra trainings on their own uh, culture builds championships and, and we're just glad to be here to be honest a point must be looking forward to today because it's the big game and obviously having lost the Roop, uh, rooster to uh, Glenora and also potentially um, you know losing the semi-final or having lost the semi-final this one's a big one indeed today yeah, definitely. If, if I'm honest, Glenora's had uh, the run against us. Um, first round, they beat us and took the roof off us. Uh, we went to their home to try and take it from them, but they, they were good enough to hold on to it. Um, and uh, as we all know, a couple of weeks ago, we got pumped by Glenora. So they're definitely coming in as favourites. Um, they've had a good game plan going into what we do. And to be honest, we, we just really want to play what we're good at and, and see where we are at the back end of the game. Good luck, Sam. Cheers. West Auckland up against the City, Monty Point Chevalier against uh, Glenora, and the Glenora have had the wood on them. Which, what do you favour? I love how he says uh, culture creates championships. Oh, look, this one's going to be uh, for the taking today. That's the great thing about it. I mean, of, of course, they had a, a convincing win against them, Glenora Bears against uh, Point Chev Pirates in, in the, the major semi final, but you've got names like Apala. Hami Lawaki, you've got Kevin Lockie, you've got all sorts, you've got the young guys coming through too. So I think it's going to come down to even Dylan Moses. It's going to come down to who wants a little bit more today. All right, here we go, folks. Let's get ready for it. We'll have the national anthem as well. It is the 2017 SAX, SAS Fox Memorial Final. Glenora against Point Chevalier. Yes, Glenora and Point Chev all set to go at it in the Fox Memorial Final for 2017. This is the best of Auckland Club Rugby League. 2017 SAS Fox Memorial Grand Final. These two sides, well, they've both won it four times. Point Chev in recent history have been one of the best teams. 2013, 2014 and 15, they won it three years in a row. They were beaten finalists last year. They also won it in 53, 1953. Glenora have won it four times in 62, which they shared with Eastern United. And then they had a three year golden run in the late 90s, 97, 98, 99, but they've not won it since then. And uh, this team is, well, both teams are stacked with a beautiful mix of experience and youth, and there's the experience in Kevin Locke and Tavita Latu on the very end there for the Point Chev Pirates, two Kiwi internationals. And of course the Glenora Bears have one Kiwis international in their team, Epalahami Lawaki. It's going to be really interesting to see how this match unfolds. Glenora, two wins from their three meetings against Point Chev this year. Point Chev, the other one was a draw. And uh, two weeks ago when these two men in uh, 
the preliminary final. Glenora won 30 points to six. One way traffic, a point Chev, a very strong team on paper. We'll hear from Monty Beetham and Richie Bowden from throughout the game, though. Time for the anthem. Well, strap in, folks. It's going to be a ripper of grassroots rugby league. It's the final of the Fox Memorial for 2017. Point Chev in the green and white. Lenora Bears in the blue. And Richie Barnett's alongside me in the commentary position. Looking forward to this, Richie. It's going to be great. Always looking forward to it. There is, as you said, an abundance of experienced players and internationals in this side. We just hope we, we see that on the paddock. And there's no question that's going to happen. Full with enthusiasm, full of passion, I'm sure. This is going to be one heck of a game. Shane Ream is the referee, one of New Zealand's most experienced referees. And this is going to be a fascinating clash. As we said, there is talent across the park here. Some exciting young players coming through, some junior Warriors players this year. This man here on the right here, Kapaunga, who played for Akarana in the national championship last year. And some sprinkling of Kiwis internationals and one Tongan international as well. And some Warriors fans watching this will recognise a lot of names in these two teams. Kevin Locke, Matthew Faitatoa, this man Ipalahami Lawaki, Abraham Papali'i. These are guys who have been close of, to NRL standard. Papali'i himself has actually played two games for the Roosters in 2016 before making his way back to Auckland. This man here played in a whole heap of NRL matches. Lawaki for the Glenora Bears. 69 games of NRL football. We're looking to see how he performs in this game. So, Glenora Bears against the Point Chev Pirates, the 2017 Fox Memorial Grand Final. All set to go underway here at Mount Smart number two. Kevin Locke almost all set to get things underway. The former Kiwis International for the Point Chev Pirates. And it's going to be the Glenora Bears who will have the first play with the ball as they try and win their first title since 1999, an 18-year absence of a lack of success at this club. And they've got Zach Tippins at dummy half. Here's Kapanga. This guy, keep your eye on him, folks. He's a, a joy to watch. He's got some great ball handling skills as well. And he is certainly going to be one to watch through this game. Glenora making excellent progress upfield as uh, Tippins fires it out to Kapanga again, who's got a second carry at this set. And this is excellent meters made here by Glenora in the first set of the game. On the last play, 
And that might find a bit of space, a tough one there for Siaki. In fact, the Utunuku, the Akarana fullback from last year to take, and the first error comes, and it's going to be Glenora with a wonderful attacking opportunity. Well, that was a good kick, and the pressure applied. Utunuku tried to get, the, get to the ball, but the pressure was on. It was a hard ball to take, but a great kick and great pressure from Glenora. Look at this. Just, he had it in hand. Unfortunately, he dropped, dropped it on the way down. A good start here from Glenora Bears. Yeah, wonderful set to start the game. Monty Beetham sideline. Good afternoon to you, mate. And uh, it forced the error. I oh, sure did. Put that down to the wind. They ran, come a long way, Glenora. Almost a perfect start. Obviously, a perfect start of scoring a try. But next best thing, they get the ball back. That wind is very strong. They put the ball up high, but then it just came all the way back and forced an error from Utunuku. Now they get a chance to strike. So the standard is going to be high in this game. There's no question about it. As Tippins sits down at dummy half again. It's a good carry coming forward here from number 10, Kurt Bernard. An interesting player. We'll tell you about him in just a moment. As Tippins thinks about going from dummy half again. Here's Lawaki. Lawaki. Look, he's a handful, isn't he? Lawaki getting very close to the line, 33 years of age, he's got the penalty. And Glenora making a very good start here in this game. 12, and putting 12, point Chev 12, under a 12, lot of pressure. 12, Look at the size of Lawaki. <laughs> we spoke about the big <laughs> Kurt Bernard, big bopper, Kavaleku. They are just big men. Was Hummer cramping up in the second minute of the game? Yeah, he looked like he was. Now here they come again, they're full of running, this is Bernard again. Bernard playing just his third game of the season. Get up! Well, there's a wobbly old pass. Beautifully picked up there, though, by the little number seven. Or was it Jordan Turai who picked that up for Glenora? No, in fact, it was Philip Kingy, the captain of this team. Here is Turai. Taken strongly there. Kevin Locke in there making a tackle for point share. Now, Glenora just five metres out. Tippins. Awaits a dummy half, and that's not fast enough for Shane Ream, the... Referee and point chef give away another penalty. Just wait, Zach, 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 Zach. Just wait till I get out of the way. Tippins, a most accomplished player, the former Mount Albert player. Wait, he spent wait, some time in the Warriors yes, New South Wales ready. Cup team last year. When you're ready. Come on. He was the first Memorial Player of the Year last year. Here's Kapuango again. Help, help, help. Take a one, let him go. Get square, Marcus. My this gap. is a great start for Glenora, but they've got to make a count on the scoreboard, you would think. Oh, wow! Good tackling coming in there. Latu in there making a tackle for point, Chev. Tiffins awaits again at dummy half. Good pressure applied from Glenora here. Here's Kingy. In comes Sayaki, and this could be the opening try. Oh, beautiful tackle there. How was that for a try saver? Very close was Takalua for Glenora. This is the other front row, row Bernard again. Oh, well, they've coughed it up, and away comes Point Chev. Here they come, Point Chev, but they've lost the ball again. And it's Kavaliku who has the ball again for Glenora. Check out that pass. That was pretty decent, wasn't it? Now, this is Suli. Korpu or Kepu Suli. A dummy half is Alo for Glenora. Great defense from Point Chef to hold them out here. Outstanding. Tippins again has another go. This is Thuidai. Now it's uh, Shane Hannum. And Shane Hannum again can't find a way past this Point Chef defense. Pakiafu making the tackles. Scoring Kurt Bernard has opened the scoring relentless pressure from the Bears and they have the first try. Stoke defence there from the Point Chevalier coming through the Altex Point Chevalier team, coming through defensive scrambling defence. They've tried to hold a Glenora Bears side that had a lot of the pull. Big boppers coming through the middle. They exercise their right to go a little bit wider on the edges. That looked like for all money he was going to score. Otunuku comes across and valiantly comes across, but just pierces through underneath the A defender. A brilliant try from Glenora, and what a start. Well, it's been all Glenora, hasn't it, from the start? They've come almost full length of the field. 
Point Chef got the opportunity to come out, but it was ferocious defence by the Bears who coughed up possession. They got their chance again. Too much weight of possession has proved costly for the Point Chef Pirates. And that big man, Bernard, gets across to score a great try to start the day off. Well, Kurt Bernard, a very interesting player. He actually retired from rugby league. He's only 21 earlier in the year. He was with the Titans over in the Gold Coast as Kingy lines up this conversion here. A bit of a wop wop conversion. Needed every single centimetre inside the post to get over. But Kingy has converted the try. And it is the Bears out to a 6-0 lead. Yes, Bernard here effectively retired from the game, Richie, earlier on in the year. Obviously disillusioned with the sport. And he's back in Auckland. Trying to make his way, perhaps, or find his love for the game back again. Yeah, I think he was with the Melbourne Storm and they went to the Titans, so... He's, I think he's fell, fell in love with the game again, and, and, and some players just go through that. What a way to come back, the grand final. Yes, he's played 37 games of NYC across the Storm and the Titans, and he actually played for the Titans against the Warriors up in Whangarei in 2016 in a pre-season game. Here he is again, and... Uh, so he moved up to the Titans of 2016, played a bit of NYC, but yeah, decided to give it away at the start of the year. And he's only playing his third game of the season for the Bears. A lot of start he's made rewarded with the try. It's a very experienced team on both sides are. Here's Kavaliki again. Wonderful player, this fellow. Kavaliku. Here they come again. They're really going nicely, the Bears. Excellent footwork there from Shane Hannum. 16 games this year, two tries for him. And it comes again to Lawaki, ranging wide of the ruck again. He's, he might have been good, but he's still very tough to tackle. And he's got wonderful agility and athleticism for his size. Good luck stopping him this afternoon, Point Chef Pirates. Here they come again. They're just on fire, the Bears, at the moment. Takalua. His 11th game of the season, but uh, it's going to be a handover. That was the last play. So slight communication breakdown there for the Bears. Ipalami Huaki, a nice charge through, and then they played on the blind side, which I really love. We don't expose that enough. We don't play that blind side enough in the game. But yet yeah, equally, there's some really good telling factors in there. Shane Hannon again with his footwork. They really are, they really are in this game, aren't they? Great defence coming in there on that tackle. Bernard again. Now, the Point Chef Pirates have hardly had the ball in this game. Eight minutes gone, and they've not had the ball inside the half yet of the Bears. They're going to have to look for their big boppers to come forward here. This is one of them, Pakiafu. I tell you what, there's a, there's a meeting of bodies. Pakiafu and Lawaki. I was going to say he's all over him. No wonder why. <laughs> there you go. Take him back, please. 4,000 kilos, it's huge. He's 33 years of Phil. age now, Lowaki. So he's still a bit long, younger than you might have thought he yeah, would I be. It, I got it, I got it. Dylan, Dylan, I got it. 12, 12, have come. Well, Lowaki going to be spoken to here by Shane Ring. I had a word with you about playing on the mark over there. That was completely unnecessary coming in a second time. And then go, and, and I know you listen, you listen to me. When he's on the ground and a hand's on him, he's held. You don't need a call from me. So you stay out of it and don't escalate it. Where you go. It's a good referee, Shane Ream. Yep. Always cool Ream, don't you? Great stuff here from... Oh, I tell you, Aku was oh. put on his backside. And, and I'll just finish him off. And Lewaki went for more. Oh, fabulous stuff. Here comes the Point Share Pirates again, and Lewaki is in there again on Afu. Now, Latu. Let's have a look and see how they run out. In fact, this is Latu here. Latu waits at dummy. Gee, they're going to be hard to split, aren't they? The old ponytail's tied up, aren't they? It's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Good tackle coming in here on Preston Rinky. Young player on the rise for the point share Pirates. Here they come, spinning it out into the backs. Good play. And here's Afu again running wide of the ruck. It's good play from him. Jeremiah Ty wearing six today for the... Point Chef Pirates, Latu again. Now this is Moses coming back on the inside. It's a good strong run. This is Zalinga Kapawa. Good movement upfield again by the Point Chef Pirates. Here goes Latu drawing a pass into Moses. It's going to be six more as it was a play on on this last tackle. Here comes Riki again. Looks for the offload. 
Yeah, it's been turned over and it's going to come away to the Glenora Bears. They didn't die wondering, did they? The all text point share. They just threw that ball around, making use of that ball. Well, the limited ball they've had have certainly yielded a good result. Well, Bernie Perinara, the coach of the Glenora Bears, will be very happy with this start. It's just going at 100 miles an hour. This game's fabulous stuff. Six to nil. Bernard, the try scorer for the Glenora Bears. We made a wonderful start in this game. Tolson Keir plays the ball. Inside the 40, that kick. And Otunuku is back here for the Point Share Pirates. And away comes Solomona, who we've not seen. Now, this guy's been scoring some tries this season. 18 tries in 14 games. He's by far the leading try scorer in this Point Share team this season. Another former Auckland Warriors. Warriors New South Wales Cup player is Solomona on the wing for the Pirate uh, for the Pirates in this game. They've got a pretty devastating back three, haven't they? Otanuku was also the highest score, try score in 2016 and a run-up with player of the year. So pretty interesting back three. Afu plays the ball now. Moses has it. He's a ball playing back rower. Good player. He's the joint winner of the Fox Memorial Player of the Year with Taylor Daniels the other night. A former point share player plays back at North Coast. Now as Otanuku comes in. Some vigorous defence coming in again from Glenora. And they've forced another change over here. Desperation in defence of, of the Glenora Bears. I thought they were just snagging it on the right defensively for Glenora. Thought there was opportunities just to pass the ball, that extra pass, and get on out wide. It's at high pace, you've got to say. You can see the players fatiguing a little bit, but that's because the quality of the play at the moment. Now, Jeremiah Pye wearing six. He was due to start, but... He's in, making a late replacement. Kevin Locke did start the game, but we're, he's off the field with a rather serious injury. He's okay, he's injured his back and he's in the ambulance at the moment. Obviously, a precaution at the moment, Kevin Locke, but uh, he's out of the game for the meantime and might not take any further part in the game. We'll get clarification on that shortly for you. In the meantime, here comes Caird again. Caird plays the ball, Tippins. Kick comes down from Kenny. And Otanuku will that straight down and straight. Solomon with him at the back here for the point share Pirates. Good chase. That's a great tackle, isn't it? Excellent tackle there from Jordan Tuirai for Glenora. <laughs> Haven't seen the ball much on this far the side of the field as Ricky gets is a recipient of a fabulous offload there from Francis Ledger. Here's the other winger in the point share Pirates team. This is Matthew Faitatoa, the Junior Warriors player from this season. Seven games for the Junior Warriors this year. Faitatoa, who's now 20 years of age. Moses. Gee, my ribs are sore. I was just watching that one. Get down, get that foul. Get that foul. Well, the passion's still there, isn't it, Glenn? It really is intriguing football. And the kicks are just not finding the ground at the moment for both sides. Oh, Moses with the kick downfield that time. He plays more like a six than a 13, doesn't he? Moses, this is for Lima Siaki, the fullback coming forward here for Glenora. Dylan Moses has been around a long time. Yeah, over 100 games now for Point Chef. It's a wonderful uh, con contribution to Point Chef football, isn't it, from Dylan Moses. And he's still playing better than ever. Good faster play the ball here, has Glenora on the front foot, Tippins. Ideal for him, he knows what to do. Great offload, Kingy has it. In fact, it's Tuirai. Here's Kavaliku again. Great play from him. Just great to watch, isn't he? Number eight for the Glenora Bears, Kavaliku. Tippins again, had a bit of a go on the left there, might have needed the shift, Manu Kia was the potential recipient of the pass number 11 there for Glenora, but he didn't. Get the opportunity to eat eye. Goes to the air. He's timed that one. Well, this might be a competition for the ball. Otanuku nicely taken, Richie. Very well contested there from the Glen Nora Bears. But the Altex Point Share fullback jumps up in the air, meets at the apex, and takes it comfortably. That'll give them good confidence. Great stuff, Monty. Penalty's going to come. That's going to help Point Share's case. But of course, what's going to help is if Kevin Locke is able to return. He's in. The uh, ambulance now trying to get some treatment. Um, their back was a problem early on in the piece. He left the field. We see that 
Jeremiah Pai has come on to replace him, but now they haven't given up hope. They're still hoping that he will be able to return to the field and help this point share for our team. But we know with backs, when you've cooled down, it is very difficult to come back and have a real presence in the game. Well, that's where the injury happened. Jeremiah Pye, not a bad replacement, Richie. Two games for the Warriors back in 2002. He's been around the local league for a long, long time. He understands finals football. He lives and breathes it. In fact, all these players are, you can see the quality of the game, Glenn. It really is up a notch. Here's Latu. Tavita Latu, himself a, an NRL rep, of course, for the Sharks and the Warriors. Former Kiwis International, of course. Here come the point chip price. Just feel like they're getting into the game a bit more now, aren't they? Payaliki is the player who made the good run there on that occasion. Moses has it. And back comes Kapawa again. Norris just defense, just a little bit of sting has just been taken out of it, just a fraction at the moment. As Latu brings it out to Moses, who pulled it. They're getting nicely on, but not go. Here is the point chair Pirates, and it's just eluded Solomona into that corner. Really skinny in goal areas here on the number two ground at Mount Smart. I saw that, Glenn. Sorry, uh, Richie, when you talk about um, the sting out of the the Glenora Bears at the moment, if they've got ball in hand, if they've got position, they're going to be very brutal indeed. The fact is they're probably not as fit or as mobile as this point chief pirate side. So what they've got to do is starve them a position, play the good kicking game, be smart about it, and then I think their fitness will help them. But otherwise, they're going to be in for trouble because these guys are big and strong. Stand up, surrender tackle. Marquez, Marquez. Three times these two teams have met this season. Good burst there. That's a lovely offload to his head. It's got two in to get to his feet quickly. Lucky not to concede a penalty there, Point Chev. Keard takes it forward. Tolson Keard. Great burst upfield from Tuidai. Here's Kingy. Kingy, here's the big fella again, Kavaliku. Oh, it's been stolen away, no but illegally. And Point Chev have been penalised yet again. Francis Ledger. Player who's been penalised. This is a great passage of play, Hannah. Nice little ball for two and I coming through with great speed and great vision. The defence coming across. Look at that. The numbers. Point Chevalier. Kavaliku charges through. A big body. Look at that. Two and a tackle. A penalised. And again, they're on the front foot, building pressure. Are they what? Kid again. Tolson Kidd, 11th game for him. No tries this season. Second season at Glenora, former Mount Ola player. It's Tippett. So waits a dummy half again. Cut out pass to Kingy. St just looking to set it up. He actually was going to concede because Luaki was in the way. Look out! Oh, Tuide almost sniffs through the gap. Very close. In fact, it was. Siaki, who almost got through. Tippins goes from dummy half. Saw a good piece of the line there. Zach Tippins. Here's the charge for the line. Very close again, but Point Chef managed to hang on by the skin of their teeth. Tuirei. Well, they're sneaking through again. Very close to the line is Tuirei again, but he can't quite get there. Surely Tippins this time, he's got it on the line. He's got it on the line. There's the try to Zach Tippins for Glenora. The second try, and it's 10 to 0. Wow, what a start. Glenora, outstanding. Zach Tippins has been in everything. He's played off the back of some good go forward. He's sensed opportunities. He's jumped out. He's tried a couple of times on the line. But line speed from all text point Chevalier coming through, getting off the line, and it exposed a little bit of a gap. Kazid Latu coming up. There was no way to go but to go back against the grain. Play all over him. To it right. And then bomb. Here we go. Just on the line. Just enough is good enough. I was just going to say, Altex Pirates have been doing a great job defensively, but Zach Tippins, a very smart player indeed. He's been around, he's played domestic level, you name it. He knows that behind a big four pack like the Bears and what they can do, he can just snipe and he can just take any opportunity that comes up. It's going to get harder for Altex uh, Pirates at the moment because we've just got news that Kevin Locke will, be not, will not be coming back today. Uh, it's a big blow for the point share Pirates, that, isn't it? Big, big blow, isn't it? Now, Kingy lines up. 
very relaxed kicking style. And King, he converts the try. And Nora, well, last game these two teams met, it was 30 points to six. The Bears blew the Pirates off the park. That was just two weeks ago in the major semi-final. And uh, they are they on track to do it all again. I'll tell you who's going to help them is Abraham Papali'i, who's looking like he's going to get his boarding pass. He should make a big difference indeed. Look out for him. Well, I've mentioned before that Glenora have got a very powerful middle, and that's where they won the game when they won 30 to 6 in the semi final. Oh, that was dominant, wasn't it? The two other games earlier in the year, Glenora in round 16. Well, it was a 20 all draw that one. A 20 all draw that one in round 16, and then earlier on in the year. In round seven, it was Glenora 28, Point Chev 20. So Point Chev actually haven't beaten Glenora this season. Well, there's a recipe for that, isn't it? Their middles are really starting to dominate. Kier there just going through. Very experienced player. But that was probably not what was, it's not what was ordered for the Point Chev team. And you've got 12 nil up. They're starting to gain momentum. Let's be smart about it. Lenora, too, are missing one of their best back rowers for this game, too. He got concussed in that game uh, a couple of weeks ago. Daniel Riulu Buchanan is not playing. He'll be sitting here watching the game. And they're doing a great job in their absence. Look at Rawaki. I think he's got... How many guys try and tackle him there? Five. It's ridiculous, Richard. Isiua comes through with a big, big number three for Point Shev. Comes up with a big tackle. But he's able to pop up. Latu. Now this is going to be interesting. What's Shane Ream, the referee, going to do here? Where you go? 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 Oh, there's some spice in this game, isn't there? It's there is certainly spice. Unfortunately for Latu, I think this is probably overzealous. And that is so high. Number nine. And that, I'm sorry, no, should be I'm sent off. We just do, do not need this in this in our game. I'm 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 Thanks, fellow. I don't need it. I don't need you. You can make a number tackle, nine. and we'll listen to the ref here. I've, I've spoken to you a number of times already. That's careless. You can oh, sit down. That's second in the row. There you go. 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 Oh, you called for a, it it, it, for, a, for a standing off. He's got ten minutes. He made direct contact. There you go. Well, I think he's lucky he got ten minutes. I yeah. think that maybe because it's a final, because. Obviously, it's a, still a contest on hand, but I was with you, Richie. Perhaps that was maybe too vigorous, too much intent. Lucky he's still going to play a part in this final. Graham Suopo was the player hit high. So, for the next 10 minutes, Point Chev down to 10, or rather to third, 12 players for the next 10 minutes. Can Glenora, the Bears, can they make it count and further extend their lead? Give me 10 here. Leave him now, Dylan, Dylan, leave him. Right away. This is Takalua, Stanley Takalua. Right Another player has been close to making NYC representation with the Canberra Raiders, Takalua. Back last year, was in their squad, but didn't play a game. Back in Auckland now. Now, Tolson Kidd. Tiffins, who's having a great game. He's just organising things beautifully at the moment. Tuirai. Tuirai, rather, having an excellent game as well. Number six for Glenora. Tiffins keeps it on the short side. Here they go again, the Bears. This is going to be big ask here for Point Chevalier. Fatani Manukia right on the goal line again. Beautiful shift of the football again as Kingy cuts back on the inside. And this is the big fella again, Suapo, who's tackled 11 metres out. Tiffins. Here they go again, and they're going to wait the kick tough. Oh, it's come off the knees there, and it's going to be a line dropout off the knees there of that uh, point share player, fight to tour, and it's going to be a line dropout. Isn't it nice to see a six run onto the ball? Tuadai coming onto the ball. It puts pressure on the defence. They, they have to come up, and just a little chip through. 
finding the ground. That was exceptional stuff there from the, from the number six. Rich, it's nice to see tackle tech and, and impact on collision. I, I love that. Something that, that, that maybe our, our eyes have lacked over over the past sort of eight eight weeks or so. But geez, grassroots, small field. These guys are going for it. A ledger with the one dropped out now. Lawaki. There he goes. Still a crowd favourite is Epa Lahami Lawaki. Say it again. <laughs> Epa Lahami. Some tough tackling coming in there from Dylan Moses from the Point Chef Pirates, but it's all the Bears at the moment. Remember, they have the one man advantage. It's still alive here for the Bears. So far for Tane Manukia is over for the try. His fourth of the season. And this guy's a stalwart of the Glenora Bears. It's his fourth season at this level. And Manukia extends the Bears way even further. Such good shape to the Glenora Bears. They'll poke through the middle, they'll play on the edge, and then they'll go again. Keared with the ball going to the line. And look at this. This is a great run from Tuarai, and then an offload to Fatani Manukia. And with that size and strength out wide, very hard to stop. But it's the six. He's just been everything. And a great little episode of play there. Picks the ball up. Joyous. What a way to start. Jordan Tuirai, Monty Beatham. Number six for the Bears. He's on fire. Oh, look, he knows what he's doing. He knows he's got big, strong, capable human beings around him. So he's just saying, you're next off me. You be here when I tell you. And you just run hard, straight, and hit whoever you see in your sight. This team is very destructive. And when you're one man down, it doesn't help the cause at all. Well, Phil Kingy, the captain. Oh, he's, no, he scooted that away to the right. So 16 to nil, the score remains. Three tries to nil at the moment. Milwaukee's been a force on that right flank. Just been such a handful. Attracting multiple defenders. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? All these four players involved. Here he goes again. Steam rolls through. And you get three or four players, you tie them up, and then you go to the edge, which they've done. Exploited the numbers. Well, a lot of fans might know what happened to him. He finished his Warriors career in 2008 and then nipped away to Super League for a while. Played a lot of games for Hull, Wigan and Bradford. 124 Super League games. And then he came back and tried his luck one more time at the NRL, but at Manly. Couldn't crack the first grade team when he went back to Manly in 2014. I remember actually commentating a game on the main ground here, the New South Wales Cup, when he played in the Manly New South Wales Cup team against the Warriors that day. But uh, he's been back in New Zealand after that last crack at the NRL back a few years ago, three years ago, and here he is. I like Shane. He's got good foot, just variation, just good speed. Turning out for Glenora again is the Lahami Lawaki, played from back in 2006. Tippins keeps it on the left side this time. Last play. Now that's straight down Otunuku and Point Chef. They've just had absolutely no field position in this game at all, Richie, have they? They haven't. And again, look, look at that. The, the kick chase there, just up on them real quick, giving them really nothing. This is a nice run there from the outside back. Solomon it was, yeah. Fight to tour off his wing. That's a good burst from the youngster. Junior Warriors player from earlier on in the year. Really need to fire up here. Big time is Abraham Papali'i. Two games for the Roosters last year. And off the bench is Hafuma, who's out there now for Point Chef. Remember, they're playing at the moment with 12 men with Latu Simbin for 10 minutes after that high shot. Good chance from Ledger. I think he's still got four minutes left on the clock to beat Latu. Well, they've conceded one try so far. Point Chef, I really can't afford to concede any more. Absolutely not. So good defence. Point Chef will be very keen to keep Glenora at this end of the field, and that's going to help. Some excellent tackling there from Sofele and also Hafunga. 
That is relentless attacker though, isn't it? From the Bears, big bopper after big bopper. Just pounding this Point, point Chev's defence at the moment. This guy's been good off the bench as well. Tolson Keir going very well for Glenora in this game. Last play, but they managed to pin them inside the 40. And there's no distance on that kick at all. And Otanuku comes forward now for Point Chev. This could be their opportunity. Tackle number one right on the halfway line, Richie. Absolutely. The kick didn't go far, but he the fullback to Otanuku took the ball on the full. And now look where they are. The second tackle. They're within the opposition half now. A real great opportunity now to yeah, score some points. They're going to be right on the line, you'd think, at the end of this set. Aruna. Haven't seen much of Tevin Aruna in this game so far. Five games for the Warriors ISP team this year in the reserve grade in the NRL. It's a nice, nice play that time as Papali'i goes close. Oh, well, he's inside the 10. Abraham Papali'i. Point chef have got to make this count. Aruna, that's a good shift of the ball. And Ledger, one of their best players this season. Almost lost the ball, but the Pirates still have it. Call comes left as Aruna. Left side good. Crossfield bomb. Let's see what happens here. It's soft for him. That man, Lawaki. There he goes, Lawaki. He tried the offload as well. This man's got it all, even the age of 33, Richie. Oh, he certainly has. He's reveling in the moment, isn't he? Just showing his experience. The tackles that are coming up after a kick through. Tim Arona kicked it pinpoint, to be honest. It was unfortunate they couldn't yield a better result. Takalua plays the ball. Here's Keir again. Hasn't he been great? He's rolled his sleeves up and just carted that ball up. Nothing flash from Tolson Keir, but it fits in with what... Glenora are doing at the moment. Just a, a, he's just fitting in superbly at the moment. Glenora just looking and lacking a little bit of shape on this occasion, but that's okay. Siaki plays the ball. Now Tippins. Well, that's good cool open up here. And here comes Pai, Jeremiah Pai. Well, Glenora just fading the fraction here. Good quick ball is required here. Here they go, the Point Chef Pirates still playing with only 12 men, remember. This is Lisiua. On that flank for the Point Chef Pirates is Hafunga again. Got to turn this into points, you think. The men in the green and white. That's a nicely tied run. It's Abraham Papali'i. Good defence on him, though. Here, guys. Excellent tackle coming in there that time. Here they go, Moses. This is Otanuku with his hands on the ball. Solomona heads for the goal line, but again, he's cut down. What can point shift cook up on this last play? It's Moses. Well, that kick wasn't to plan, and Glamora survived again. They'll be disappointed with that last tackle play there, Richie. Yeah, the fifth kick option wasn't the right one. A poke through from Moses. They exploded on the left-hand side. Otanuku would had such great speed. And again, Solomona, who scored so many tries, 18 tries, first in the competition. Latu, not too long before he's due back on the field. Now, Suli has it. He's got about six seconds left. <laughs> Precisely, Modi. Thank you, mate. Adam, Latu is back on the field. Point Sheva back to their full complement of 13 players and it's timely as well eight minutes left until half time with the bears three tries to nil at the moment there's support there is the support and away comes tuirai again now he needs support tuirai he's still going tuirai this is a great run isn't it ledger finishes him off finally and now runs back into position tippins where's that bounced it's a, a restart, a tackle count, everything going right for the Bears at the moment as Manu Kia, who got the third try a short time ago, creates something from nothing. Tolson Kia. Kia taken five metres out from the line. Tippins. That's Kingi. Lawaki. Here goes Epilahami Lawaki again. He can't run through 15 players, surely, can he? Winding back the clock is Tippins. Oh, that's great play. How good is that play right there? And I tell you, Tolson Kier deserves a try. It's been terrific in this game, and the Bears are racing away with the Fox Memorial final at the moment.
They are steamrolling through Point Shiv. They are playing with absolute confidence. They're playing very through much through the middle, but they're playing on the edges and just chancing their arm a bit. This man here has been outstanding. Shane Hannon has just been great also. But look at this pass, the offload. Tuarai has been great. Like I said before, he's been in everything. Great defence there from Point Shiv to come across in numbers. But it's just been the, the ignition point here for Glenora. Look at that pass. It's just a brilliant pass. To same point. player. Same player, Richie. Graham Suopo. Fantastic. Wonderful offload. Suopo right on the line when he was falling. And if anyone deserves a try, it's this man. We talk about the big boppers and what they do in this Glenora pack. Very destructive, very capable of causing havoc but they need the guy who's the grafter the grinder in between who just fills in the gaps and that's him right there Tolson here Kingy with a simple conversion again well no one would have predicted this scoreline Kevin Locke he is in strife there isn't he how unfortunate that for the point chef Pirates out of the game with a sore back early in the match He's really battling to, for, mo, for any sort of mobility there, isn't he? Well, what do you do if you're the point chef Pirates? Zane Pocklington is the coach of this team. Half time can't come fast enough. I think so, and I think it'll be welcomed. They've got really got to reset, think about where they need to dominate, and that's probably in the middle. Tie the, tie the forwards down. They're really making some inroads. The, the ruck speed's too quick. That's one, one area they need to improve on, there's no doubt. Oh, that kick didn't, didn't go to plan either. Back to almost halfway on the first tackle. Stanley Takalua going well there, isn't he? He looks a useful customer. Raiders NYC squad last year, Richie. Couldn't crack it there. Back in Auckland again and big, big body. Speaking of big bodies, here's another one. This is Graham Sewell Pope, but again, wonderful hands from him, hasn't he? Those offloads were exceptional in that last try, Tippins. Here's Lawaki again. He's not going to kick this time, is he? Yes, he is. Knowing him, that weight will be just perfect, and it pretty much was as Otanuku comes back. Wasn't it great? They, they've exposed the ball out wide and allow Lawaki to kick the ball. They go to the left, and they've got Manukia too, also, who's punching through the line. So there's a lot of threat across the board here for Glenora Bears. Well, someone in this point chief team needs to take the game by the scruff of the neck. It's been outplayed at the moment. Fords are not getting that roll on that they possibly would have liked. There's some fairly big names in this point chief Pirates pack, remember? Ataki Afu. And also Abraham Papali, who's got the ball right now. Moses needs something as Preston Riki. One of the best fans of the game right there from Preston Riki. The young back rower. He's only 19 years of age, Preston Riki. Now Arona. He's had very little impact on this game so far. Lucky. Almost confused his teammate there and Glenora have the ball again. And look where they've got the ball is more important. So I get to the ball, and now they're in good shape, really, to build that momentum. 22 points to nil. Shane Ream is playing advantage here. It's good, good advantage there. Why stop play? Let's just carry on with it. Two eye who's been exceptional in this game. He's cared and runs onto that. Times has run perfectly there. Easy 10 metres again, and a good quick play. The ball, their ruck speed again continues to be excellent. Now, Waki. Gee, they'd love one more try here, Glenora, in this last couple of minutes before half time. Let's see if they can achieve that goal. Now, Hannum. These guys are all putting their hands up, haven't they? They've just been great. Hannum. Last play here. Could ricochet anywhere. Could ricochet anywhere. The six more tackles. Oh, the knock on is going to go against Point Chev. Hard luck there for. Fight to talk. There's no way they were going to take catch him. Bernie Pedanara. Father of Henry, right? Yes. Great league family. 
Henry Perinato will be following this game with a lot of interest. The ref, the NRL referee, former Warriors player, and a couple other clubs over in Aussie as well. Let's go we saw that Graham Carden there too. Graham Carden, CEO of New Zealand Rugby League back in the day. There's a blast from the past. Good man. Graham Carden. Yes. That's all right. You know what you do. Arms in, second row. Find them with each other, please. You right, Dylan? You right? Hang on. What do you got? Hang on, guys. We've got an injury. Dylan. Thanks, Moses. Thanks, Moses. One more. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. Just take your time, Moses. So, Dylan Moses just getting some attention at the moment, the point chef skipper. Yeah, Fox Memorial Player of the Year, first time, or, you know, not sure if it's first time, but uh, a rare award this week where they shared it. Uh, Dylan Moses and Taylor Daniels, who actually was a point chef player last year, Richie, but has gone back to play for Northcote this year. Two wonderful back rowers. Kingy. Point chef. Desperately need to hang on here in these last 40 seconds. Kakalua, it is, playing the ball there. Kingy, now Hannum again. Hannum will look for the offload. Oh, he might have offloaded it there to Manukia. Manukia, the Glenora Best Player of the Year, nominated in the Fox Memorial Awards earlier in the week. Terrific season, Yasiaki. Yaki plays the ball away, goes Tippins. Now Lawaki, look out. That's close to the line. Lawaki's going to have a crack. Can he get that down? He hasn't. He's lost the ball, in fact. And it's a penalty, is it? And a strip inside the end goal has been ruled by Shane Ream there. Well, they'll take the, they'll take the kick. And what a devastating beast he is. They're playing to the strength. He's just giving Luaki the ball, and he's causing havoc on the edge. The fact that they're holding back and not moving up off the line is just adding to well, him wanting the ball more often. Actually, they did well to actually not get Luaki close to forcing the ball there. Because you would have thought the way, how damaging this guy's been in the first half, you would have thought he would have forced it. I'd be concerned about the person underneath them. 100%. <laughs> Good decision here by the Bears. They're going to have a poke at the posts. Close out the first half. <coughs> Phil Kingy will be wrapped. <laughs> absolutely wrapped here. The captain here he is, number seven. This guy's a stalwart for Glenora Bears football. He's been at this club a long, long time. See, it's a well coached side too. They play to the structures, but executing extremely well. well. If you're a Bears supporter or got anything to do with them, you'll be very happy. They haven't won the Fox Memorial since 1999. You'd have to say a 22 to nil. That's nowhere near going over. In fact, it's still in the field of play, which is interesting. Ledger. We'll end the first half there for points here, but it's been a dominant. First, first 40 minutes as Jim Doyle looks on, the new chairman of the Warriors. It is the Bears all over the Pirates in the first 40 minutes of the Fox Memorial Final. It's Glenora leading point share by 22 points to nil. Set yourself for a grandstand finish. This game always delivers. Nobody catches the jet. Entertainment Plus. The NRL. Today, live Sky Sport 2. Are you ready for the riches of the world's premium content? It's here for all Sky Basic customers, back-to-back -back episodes to binge. The time is now. Come on, people. We're bringing you a box set every single night from 7.30. Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Raid the wealth of the world's finest entertainment. I've been poor and I've been rich. Rich is better. Get yourself addicted to Sky Box Sets. We need Rick because he'll use cash. But if we get a budget and a proper studio... Just find something that we can use. Like maybe she's a cokehead or she's screwing her boss. I'm not going through her garbage. 
I'm not going to show that picture to anyone. Not as long as your studio produces my film. Blackmail is a felony. Blackmail? I ain't going to prison for a period film. Get Shorty. New episode. 9.30 Tuesday. Soho. Domino's cheaper every day now has even more choice with three mouth-watering new pizzas and six tasty new sides. Still only five bucks each. Plus, get free swirls with every pizza to make them even tastier. Only at Domino's. Roger Waters, touring nationally this coming January with his new tour, Us and Them. Roger Waters brings Pink Floyd's greatest albums to life. Go to livenation.co.nz for ticketing and VIP information. Tonight, we celebrate the best of television. This rocks. It's television's biggest night. What's going on here? Oh, I was hungry. And Vibe has your exclusive front row seat. You must be present to win. If you want this, it will be in the lost and found. Stephen Colbert hosts a night like no other. The Emmys are so good this year. With over 140 Emmy nominations, Soho proudly sponsors the 69th Emmy Awards. Exclusively live, 18th September on Vibe. The most shocking, controversial, huge, bombshell, refined starch, glucose levels, diabetes, calories, sugar. One in four members of the community have diabetes. We are overdosed. The food industry, they know that it's got an addictive quality. In a brand new documentary series, join Simon Gold to discover why are we fat? Coming soon to Prime. In the slot, in the slot. Ah, the sweet sounds of the English summer. The NatWest T20 Blast, July 8th to September 3rd on Sky Sport. Well, great stuff in this Fox Memorial Final. It's been all Glenora, and that one to Kurt Bernard to get things going, Richie. Absolutely, and that's a good start from the Glenora Bears to really punch through the middle, which is what they've been good at this year. So the first try, and then Tippins set up the, the dummy half. The go from dummy half was Tuirai, and then Tippins just got there for try number two for the Bears. Yeah, they've been all over the park, haven't they? Tuirai particularly has been really impressive to me. He's really jumped on any ball, good ball. And he's really directed the side around nicely. Well, they've been impressive out in the middle. They've also been impressive on the fringes. Manu Kia here, number 11. This is some finish here, Richie. That certainly is. And Manu Kia has been outstanding on the edge and really has made the most of his opportunities in Luwaki on the right side. So they've really got thread on both, both ends. And their bench has been really affected too. Graham Suopo, he caught one high from Tavitu Latu. He spent uh, 10 minutes on the bin. And then this second offload in that movement upfield was outstanding. And Tolson cared the beneficiary. Isn't he been outstanding? He's just carted that ball through the middle. He knows his role. He just wanted to try to boot two. What a way to finish this, the first half. Well, it's one-way traffic at halftime here at the number two game at uh, new number two ground at Mount Smart. The Bears leading 22 points to nil. Yes, and I think a bit of the Mount Smart number two walk is happening as well because we believe we've been seeing quite a few points. Chev folk uh, decide, well, they've had enough. They think maybe it's over Red Rover. But, boy, the, I've got to say one thing. The handling, is, is that Sean Johnson there? Look at the, isn't he supposed to be playing tomorrow night? Uh, no, is the answer I would suggest. There were some suggestions about his knee after that game back. But, yeah, look, he's master of the selfie. Uh, but let's just talk about this, though, that the handling of the big men in Glenora is five-star. Uh, it's been really good. I, I think just the collisions that they've been winning because they've been winning the collisions, their offloading ability, even even their work pre-line and post-line has been exceptional. But you mentioned it before, Zach Tippins and, and what the, the guys are doing in and around that have been immense. They really realise they've got big, strong human beings. We'll give them a ball, we'll, we'll, we'll tell them what to do, and then they'll just do their role. And, Monty, they said at the beginning of the match they, were, they weren't going to change anything they'd done before. They were going to just play through the middle and play what they do well. And they have been doing exceptional extremely well. Benny Piranara's got them on fire. Yeah, we had the blueprint, that's what they suggested. They had the blueprint going into the smash and knew what it was like winning the last two games. And once again, their power game has just been too strong for Punchev. Just a reminder, next Friday from 11.30, it's the Secretary School's finals day. Uh, that will be something to look forward to. We'll be there bringing that all to you live on Sky Sport 2 from Bruce Pullman Park in Papakura. And don't forget the Warriors round out the season tomorrow night. We're on air at 8 for an 8.30 kickoff uh, against the Tigers, the Tigers. So that'll be something to look forward to. We've got another four 40 minutes here at Mount Smart number two. Glenora 22, the Point Chev Pirates got the big donut right now.
Heineken Italian Grand Prix. This weekend, Sky Sport. If I won Powerball, first I'd pay up my daughter's mortgage, and I'd finally do up that old motorbike I've got in the shed. I'd spend less time working and more time tinkering. Imagine winning $20 million this Saturday. Get your Powerball ticket today. Worn shock absorbers can reduce your vehicle's ability to stay on the road through corners and in high winds. Wearing out gradually, you may not notice until it's too late. Visit your nearest shock shop for a free safety check for total peace of mind. Look, Lichenstein! Look, I walk away! Look, Lichen still dying! Look, I still walk away! 30 seconds, spray and walk away! All right, so this is a 34-year-old male, on TC, on TC. I think about the car crash a lot. I know he caused it, and I reacted the best way possible. But it's hard to let it go. When I asked what had happened to him, the doctors said he really wore the impact. Any more? and things would have been much worse. They said he was lucky. Lucky I wasn't going any faster. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Get 20 delicious original recipe nuggets for just 10 bucks, only at KFC. It's not easy facing things. Are you able to say her name? I wouldn't be bringing this up to you if I didn't think it was crazy myself. Did I do some kind of breakdown? My patients, they all seem to have died within a day of each other. July 12th. Does that date mean anything to you? What is it? You don't want to remember. Backtrack premieres September 30th on Rialto Selection. It was lightning before the thunder. Thunder. It's the one competition that shakes the rugby world. Investec Rugby Championship, All Blacks, Pumas, Wallaby, Springboks. Next Saturday, live Sky Sport. Second half almost underway, and it's a big job ahead of the Point Chef Pirates. With Glenora Bears in total command of this game. Big challenge for Dylan Moses there, the captain of the Point Chef Pirates. Glenora. Second half underway, and it's the Bears leading by 22 points to nil. Tries in the first half to Bernard, Tiffins, Manukia, and Caird for the Glenora Bears in the blue. And Point Chef Pirates. Well, they've got a heck of a, a job to do here against Glenora, who are, uh, well, you'd think, getting close to winning their first title, first Fox Memorial title, Richie Barnett, in 19 years. That is very exciting, isn't it, for a club that hasn't seen it for that long. But it is the second half. That's right. Well, and I think momentum can change. Exactly right. And if Point Chef will be telling themselves, if the Bears can score 22 points and a half football, so can we. Now, the other thing that is about to hit us is a massive shower of rain. Some big, ugly stuff coming in from the east. A rather torrential shower is about to hit us here at the number two ground at Mount Smart. And just bearing in mind, too, the wind is with the Glenora Bears, too. You have the rain and the wind. It's going to even up at some point, but that wind factor, particularly coming out of your own half, is going to be a big one. Uh, she's safe from the elements, the wind and the rain, boys. You're sitting pretty up there in that um, sheltered room that you're calling the game from, but sideline's the place to be, no doubt about it. That wind is <laughs> at least uh, 14 to 16 points now, Rich. It's still very strong. It's probably picked up indeed, so I, I think it's going to be a hard ask for this uh, pirate side to get back into this one. Well, they're back into it here. Point share, Pakiafu. Big opportunity here early in the second half as the weather really closes in here. Good run there. 
That's Pialiki, who's inside the 10 for Poichev. Latu, Moses has it, inside ball. Good option taken there by Dylan Moses. Hafunger is playing the ball. Latu, Moses, head down, almost scores there for Poichev, the captain. Latu again. Aruna. Thinking about having a crack himself here, Tevin Arona. Latu back again. Good defence from the Bears. Keep him out, though. Not much they can do here. Points in fact, they're losing yards here as Papa Lee. In the end, kicks. Goodness me, and uh, that all ended rather meekly from a point shape point of view. Yes, not the option there from Papa Lee. The back row. Opting to kick. Wasn't the best of kicks, and they really need to apply the pressure there and build pressure. It was a great opportunity to for the all Tex point shift team. Kid, one of the try scorers in the first half. Good carries, carried them about a good eight or nine metres there with players on his back. Strong came off the bench. Early kick on the 40, that's Tiffins. Can't quite get the angle for the 40-20, but that's a good kick and an excellent chase there too from that player from Glenora Bears, Sasuli. Very good run from him, or was it Tomata on this right wing? It was Tomata coming through. And you can just see there the rain just starting to come down. Francis Ledger hasn't had any opportunity at all. He's quite a story as well, and he's 19, which is nine years ago now. Both his neck playing rugby league for the Richmond team. And uh, it's been a long time to get himself back into condition where he could return to the game and meritorious when you hear stories like that. Back in Auckland after a stint in Queensland is Francis Ledger. Okay. They're really closing in as Tomata comes back here again for the Glenora Bears. Ball handling is going to be important now as this rain sweeps in across the stadium. Game just takes a breather for a second here in this early in the second half just slow to get off the the mark here the bears just gotta just gotta tie that pressure on so important but to get the second half you know the first 10 minutes just gotta lay the, the cards out let them know that they'll never come back kid he'll just keep going forward and that's exactly what you want feels like he could do that all day Hunger there, that's a good run. Manukia, excellent run from the rangy back rower. Tiffins it is. Gives it back to Kenny. It's going to be tricky to take that one in the tough conditions. Otunuku did brilliantly there. Oh, and he got off an offload too to Solomona. And Solomona did well to make 10 to 12 metres for his team. They work well together, don't they, those two? You just see that combination of chemistry between these two. That was a great take. Who was bearing down? Luaki was coming through. That's a frightening thing to see. <laughs> and good indication there of how wet it is, Monty. Really is pouring down. I knew right now. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Uh, that is the case. But, geez, uh, what about these guys out there doing a fine job in these conditions? And you mentioned Hami Luaki and what he's been doing. He's been having a, a big contribution and big plays all day. That time he tried to make a big play and, and for Sierra, bearing down on the fullback trying to catch the ball. He's been good. Good run there by Kapaunga again. Hafuma. Reminding you too that Kevin Locke, the former Kiwis international, who started four point chef early in this game was scrubbed with a back injury and he's no, taking no part now. Moses puts the little chip kick through, not a bad little option in these greasy wet conditions, but I tell you who did a great job with Siaki there fielding that one. Yeah, that's courageous really. The ball going on the ground, he, he took that ball with real confidence. Such a nice kick through from Point Chef. And now they just got to apply that pressure. Wet conditions, put the pressure on them, try to make that mistake. It's you, it is playing the ball. In fact, I know this is Tuvo Alo for Glenora. Here he is again. Kamaliku. Kid, well, that's the first mistake we've seen him make in the game. I don't know what they're doing, boys. You've got a very strong win. The ball's wet. You kick, you use that breeze, and then you put them down their other end of the field. Unnecessary error now, and this is how you welcome the all-text pirates back into the game. 
haven't we seen this before? Haven't we seen this over and over again? When you go into the lead, 22 points to nil, you come out a little bit gun shy, <laughs> you expose, they come through, and things can turn considerably. Oh, yes, you defend your lead. Yes, but will point chief right, take advantage here? They it's need down. to score. Jeremiah Pai feeds the scrum for point chef, and they come back on this left edge. This is good move. Listen you Point Chef. Pailiki is going to set it up 12 metres out. Yeah, it looks like he may have been hurt. Or he's very slow to get to his feet on that occasion as Latu plays the ball. The veteran player Moses back on the inside. Hafunga. Tackle three. Release him. One foot here. Point Chef need a score and they need it fast as Latu brings back Moses. He goes to the line. He's dropped the ball. But it's gone backwards. No, it hasn't. Good hit there on Moses. And Glenora survive again. Kabaliku is pretty happy with that. Running into a brick wall, I might add. And look at this inside ball. In, in, in difficult conditions, too. And look at that, the captain coming through with a lovely hit. Hannon paving the way. It's not pleasant conditions at the moment seconds. in this game. Heads down, Zach. Head in. Put in. Put in. Out. Tackle one. Tackle going in there. That's good, good ball, ball security that time. Side, hold. From that Glenora, Glenora player. And here runs Kavaliku again. Kavaliku. I'm telling you, he is a great play. Doesn't... He never looks quite in condition, but I tell you what, he belies his... He's got great athleticism. Now, Tomata. Tomata. Well, oh, he's done well there to stay in the field of play. Still getting over that run. Yeah, Kavaliku. I've seen him run. Just sen sensational play. There goes Lawaki. How many tackle busts in this game for him? Must be at least 20 now. Marcus up and hold that wide. Seven hole, four. Tiffins. Kingy, that's a smart kick. Oh, great hands from Otunuku. And point chef. Doing everything okay at the defensive end at the moment. Maybe just a little bit on the execution front of the other end of the field, Rich. I absolutely agree. That's great defense there from the Glenora Bears. They're not letting them get away here. They're aiming up to it out in there, as we've seen with the attack defensively is involved. Kavaliku, we saw that great run. He's jumped off his right right foot and cut through a big man with that agility, outstanding. Bit of space on this right edge here, or this left edge for Kapawa. Oh, we should have shifted there to Lisi Yu, who was there in support. Pailiki back out there now for the point chef players. No change to the halftime score. Earlier in the day, <coughs> earlier in the day, the Shaman Cup was won by the Otahu Leopards. We were back in the Fox Memorial for 2018. And Manu winner of the women's title for 2017. Far too good for Richmond in their game. Congratulations to all the teams that have made finals day here today, including the Bay Vikings who were defeated by Otahu in that Shaman Cup final. Lenora. Over the halfway line, good run by Harmon. Seven, seven. Tiffins again. Cared again. Just a one error to him, and a try in the first half. He's been sensational. He goes to kick from Kingy. Tough one for Otanuki. I don't think he touched it, though. Back to the 20. A good riffing there. What a punt, too. It's the old punt. It takes up in the air, and it just floats around. The old floater. He's been good, Otanuku. He really has. He's taken the ball with such courage. He's been very solid at the back. Just can't get going anything, anything going on attack, can they? The point chef pirates. Latu. Moses. So three tackles. Just over there. Just heading towards halfway now. Latu nips away from dummy half. There's a good run by the veteran player. Four now. Mark is up. 
Well, it's a time on the ground. Just see Glenora just slowing that right down. They've got to slow play the ball now. They have indeed as Moses flips it out. Here comes Arona. No chance for him to shine, and he's dropped the ball as he desperately tries to keep it in the field of play, but again, excellent defence. Not much fight to talk could do on that occasion. No, you just can't play off the back of a slow play of the ball. But Arona, with his pace, he tried to ignite a bit of attack. Just tried to get on the outside. But again, that scrambling defence of Glenora. There's too much energy in the tank at the moment for Glenora to not make that desperate tackle. Tevin Arona, one of the more promising halfbacks in New Zealand. Just 21, played for Canterbury last year in the New Zealand Championship for the Canterbury Bulls. Crack at the NYC with the Raiders back in 2014, but didn't play a game, but now back in Auckland playing for Point Chief and the Warriors ISP team, Tevin Arona. Played five games for them this season. Of course, they are in the playoffs, aren't they? The Warriors ISP team. Good shot at the title, you'd think. It's down. They've had an exceptional year. I think they've been had an exceptional year. Correct. Help. Ricky Henry's done a great job. Tackle one. Up now. So Zane Pogglins it. Will be thinking side, very seven. hard how he's going to expose and try to get some, yeah, some yeah, joy. I've got to convert. Oh. And Swan playing the ball there. Aaron Swan is on the field now. Good carry from Manu Kia. Excellent run. Manukia, Fatani Manukia, having a great game on that left edge. Remember, he's he was nominated as the Glenora Player of the Year. At the Fox Memorial Awards the other night. Tiffins. Kingy, now Lawaki. Lawaki! Lawaki! Clock, but giving him space, it's a recipe for disaster. The big, big man himself just charging through. There is so much room to really cause havoc. But it was the ability to tie up that middle. And look at this, and in and away, he showed good pace. Get out of my way, and a fend, and a pass. And Tomata scores a try in the corner. Causing, ab sorry, Rich, causing absolute havoc out there. A man that big. Swapping, ball-carrying arms, fleet footwork, speed and strength. Jeez, great to see 33 years of age. Probably the, the old follower of the team, no doubt about it, but they'll be celebrating him when he rests those old legs when they go back to the club room tonight. A wonderful effort from that man, as known as Teeth. <laughs> so look at the... Well, Ledger it was. Ledger. With a uh, blood bin opportunity, but Lawaki here. James Tomata, the beneficiary of that superb run. That's his ninth try of the season. He's played. This is actually his 49th game for the for the Bears, James Tomata, in the last six years. And he's now scored 33 tries. Not a bad strike rate. Now Kingy with this conversion. This is his toughest one of the afternoon. Not to be, but Lenora. Score first in the second half, courtesy of that fabulous run from Lawaki. Here it is again, Richie. Isn't it brilliant? Absolute brilliant to see a big man like that cause havoc, brush places aside and dish off. He owns it. He's owning this game. Supporters are just enjoying the Glenora Bears victory. They can sense it. They can smell it. They're actually having a party. They sure are, and rightly so. Only an absolute miracle now will deny Glenora their fifth Fox Memorial title. Got their first one, they actually shared their first one back in 1962 with Eastern United. And then they won three straight, 97, 98, 99. They haven't won one since. So 17, 18 years between titles for Glenora, it seems. Well, be rocking at the club tonight. <laughs> Leon Eden will be the place to be, mate. It certainly will. I just wonder how much of an influence that Kevin Locke 
his injury had on the side. I know they were dominant in the middle, and it was very hard to have one player be make a difference, but psychologically it can. What do you think, Monty? No doubt it doesn't help. Of course, Kevin Locke, the experience that he brings to this team. When you lose him early, some of the younger boys question whether they got what it takes within. But I, I think there's a bad performance by this uh, Glenora side, and in particular the forwards. They've just been exceptional. Apala Hami Lawaki has been a key figure throughout this match, ensuring that he is a, a sheer force and presence when it counts most. Preston Riki tackled right on his 40. Missing young player. Nine games for the Junior Warriors over the last couple of years. Also, the Pirates weren't helped by the 10 minute Sinbin period, too, in the first half. Tavita Latu was sent from the field for 10 minutes for a, a high shot. Now, I don't know. Swan in there making a tackle for Glenora. Latu. Goes the kick. Snarky going back. Snarky played for Akarana last year. He's going. He'll probably get another crack this year. Of course, we'll have coverage of the New Zealand Championships. Oh, hi. Sneak up there from Arana. We'll have coverage, of course, of the New Zealand Championships coming up very soon. It starts in a couple of weeks. Don't forget coverage of our secondary, uh, the secondary schools final coming up this Friday at Takanini. This carry has been ruled against Glenora and the uh, centre Alo. Ledger cut to the head. He was forced off. He wanted to go back on. He was desperate to get on, but they were saying, come off. The cut is too deep. There's a lot of blood there. So let's get him off. Can you come, please, guys? Let's go, Zach. Arms around. Head in. Back in. It would Arm be on. nice to see Point Point Chef on the score, ball. yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen, we are. He's dropped the ball, and who wants it? Who's the keenest here? What a shambles it is. And it's going to be a knock-on rule against Glenora. Point Chef will get another chance. Backwards, Point Chef. Not when he's trying to regather. Let's come out, let's come out the tackle for this. Let's go, Bears. Normal time, guys. Come on, get your heads in. Let's go, put it. Out. Here come Poichev again. Ricky. Hits the ball nicely. Hannum makes the tackle alongside Swan. Latu. Kapanga again. Tries to squeeze between two defenders. Did a good job there to make another couple of meters for his team. Two. Richie have got to get something cooking here with Moses. And that has not happened. Oh, that's smart play there from Kingy. Beautiful play. Well, that's an unfortunate... Period of play, still raining heavily here. And, uh, ball handling becoming increasingly more difficult. Yeah, no, no question about that. All text point Chev. They had a structure on the left edge. I thought the, the play should have been, and probably should have been, the sweeping runner getting that ball. And unfortunately, the lead runner took the ball, knocked it on, particularly in these conditions. They reacted well, transition into defence and attack for Glenora's pretty severe. Well, the news gets tougher for. Point here, Pirates, down to a two-man bench. Francis Ledger looks like he won't be taking a part in the game. Of course, he had all the blood over his face with the collision with one of his own, which was friendly fire. Otanuku. Let go. Number one. Okay, tackle making the tackle. It's Arona. Brings back Kapawa again. That's two. Move, nine. Hold. Latu just can't quite get that. Don't have that finishing polish, do they? Chief Pirates in this game really struggling in that area. Is Huffing the plays the ball again. Arona again. Yeah, they come again, trying hard, very close to the line. Is Sofeli. Well, the welcome this 
You just see their style of play. They're going back to the middle, probably one too many, instead of going to the edge and playing off it. So they're playing in the hands of Glenora Bears. They're, they're trying to cut the ball back in the middle of the ruck. This is where they're strong. The defence is just, just this close to the line, hasn't it? So stingy in this game, Glenora. Latu, Arana again, they plug on the right again, but no room there for Riki. Or is there? Latu. Yep, just moving up in defence ninth. There's nothing fluent there about Point Chev at all. It's Kapanga and Latu again. That looked forward that pass, but plays allowed to continue as Hafunga. Hafunga is held up over the line. Well, they continue to try and score their tries up the middle, don't they? Rather than chance their arm a bit out wide. Yes, it is raining. Even in the first half, when it was dry conditions, we didn't really see much of that either from Point Chef. Moses. Well, that was close, wasn't it, or to Nuku. On another day, that might have bounced into the fullback's hands, and it might have been a try, but it wasn't to be today. They just need to ask more questions. Jeremiah Pye is a good ball, ball handler, Dylan Moses. Guys that can ball play, but they're not going to the edges. They're actually playing the hands of, of Glenora Bears at the moment. They're making it all too easy. Over your line dropout, it's just a ricochet off one of the Glenora players, as you can see there. It was Tomar to the try scorer. He is a colossus. Hepa Lahami Lawaki. He is a monster. Jeremiah Pai, well, tough day at the office for Come the on, former Warriors go. player. When you're ready, stay behind. Let's go. 22 to nil it was at half time. Just the one try in the second half to Tomata. Just the try it was too. That's a good start. Run through the middle with intent. Just get the ball rolling, that ruck speed going. That's another one. Pailiki it is, Eddie Pailiki. Sneak some enthusiastic charges into this Glenora defence and quick play the balls. Again, their ruck speed has also been a big problem for Point Chev in this game. Look at that. Slow play the balls. Can't get any roll on with slow play the balls like that. Moses needs to get to his feet quickly to play the ball. But again, a good tackle there from Harmon. Or well, Hannum rather has it all sorted. And then the error comes, but the penalty has been conceded by Glenora. So more possession here for Poichev. I just wonder, to be the luck to, is just trying a bit too hard, trying to feed the ball around the ruck when really the play is a little bit wider. Uh, hats off, he's trying, but I think it's the wrong play. To, to target in the middle all the time. Overused play. Looking it easy. Easier for the Glenora Bears defence. To sort out. Tafaliki it is. He's going to play the ball. Latu. Scoots away across field again. This time there's a gap. Again, great defence from the Bears. Keeps out Pailiki this time. Latu from Dummy Hart. Don't think he got it down. Well, give them a point for trying. Can't buy a trick point, Chef. Who's mate. in there again, guys? Palahamu Lawaki. A little sneaky finger or, or, or knee, perhaps, or, or shoulder. He's getting amongst it. No doubt about it. Nice bit of play there from the Paris getting unlucky to get over the line. Four great people in the picture trying to do what they can to stop the try. Let's go, Bess. Let's go, Phil. Kingy did well, didn't he? Came across. Three or four players in the tackle. Luaki mentioned before. It's down. Desperation in defence. It's down, please. They're holding on. Okay, put in. Well, yes, and I guess uh, Bernie Peronata, that'll be one thing that will really please him. Yes, they have scored one five down. tries in the game to none, but... Keep coming. Coaches oh, often get prouder of the zero, don't they? And they hold their opponents to no score. 
65, 66 That's minutes two. now. No score Release in the time. final to Richie. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming Bernie oh, oh, would be probably he wouldn't be happy with the second half performance i think he really wants to nail this down and just drive the nail in the and really peel this point sheep team to pieces he mentioned it at half time you could see his face do not you could just see all the explicits coming out playing the ball there that's called Nora comes forward again this is aaron swan again contributed strongly in the second half for glenora Tiffins. Marcus Lockin and Hall. Don't go really Hall. Nora have moved away from their own goal line here superbly. There goes Good. the kick from Tuidai. And that is going to be seven tackles set from the 20. Well, all going well here for the Glenora Bears as they close in now on their first. Fox Memorial title for nine, for 18 years, folks. 18 years. Quite remarkable, isn't it? It is remarkable, and as a player, you'll never forget that. It'll tie you for the rest of your life. You'll revisit this moment again and again. If you're at the Dawn Era Bears club rooms in Glen Eden already watching this broadcast, I'm sure the liquid is flying already. Put the ovens on. It's going to be a great night at the Glenora Bear Bears Club Rooms tonight. There's a penalty against Glenora. And the Otahu Leopards, one of the Marlins, Wahine. So, a big night. And so you should. What a, what a fantastic year. Absolutely, yes. Uh, just repeating, the Leopards yes. did win the Shaman Cup earlier in the day. That's the second division, and they've moved up to the Fox Memorial again this season. Nice carry there from Kailiki. Tahu, who beating the Bay Roskill Vikings earlier on in the afternoon, and then the Manurewa the women's team. Far too good for Richmond in the women's final today. See the knock on just came there. It was a loose carry there, and it just went into the Royal Bears player. So, okay, so Shane Ream has picked up there, and it's going to be more Glenora okay, ball. Put it. I think it's going to take your hat off to the players too, with all the, the effort. These players are still working. They've got a lot of commitments. Their family Tackle commitments one, tied in, and they're still playing a sport that demands hold, a lot hold. of you. So to all the players and to all the administration, you know, it's just a fantastic effort. That's two now, Tavita! And Glenora Bears, they really have been the outside, dominant team. Outside, That's a smart kick, isn't it? Perfect kick for this point of the game. Glenora Bears have been dominant in this competition at the back end of it. They've not been beaten since June the 17th. So we're into September now, and so it's an unbeaten run there of three, six, eight, nine games. Last uh, loss to Northcote, 30 points to four. So I don't know what happened on in that game, but Northcote prevailed there, 30 points to four. But and you come Bears straight in. We're ready. That's their only loss actually Bears since wait, early wait, wait. May. Yes, so it's been a, a really good season for Glenora. And they're going to cap it here with the title, their first in, in 18 years. Tackle one, up now. Here's 10 guys. Hold here, left side. Point Sheep, of Hold. course, are playing their fifth final in a row, Richie. One, three. Just the last two. Barring an absolute miracle in these 10 minutes. And that itself is quite amazing, isn't it? The club really has been the best in the last five years. The all text Point Sheep side has been dominant. There's no question. Latu sneaks away from Tommy Half and Tapaleti came in a good thumping there by Manu Kia. Ah, credit to Papali, just bounces out of the tackle. Lisiua, wow, he was put on his backside too from a Tiffins, who's had a very impressive game, to be fair, Zach Tiffins, put in a very accomplished hooker's performance. Now that kick's gone backwards. Well, the referee's bounced off the referee, I think. No, it hasn't bounced off the referee. Well, that's hard luck for Glenora. Play on. Wasn't quite the best kick, but they got the ball back. Papali'i in there again, trying to mix it up. 
This guy was so promising a few years ago, wasn't he? When he was in the junior warriors, he's lost the ball here. It's been missed though by the officials. He was so promising, Adrian Abraham Papali, wasn't he? Came through the juniors, came into the Captain New South Wales Cup team, got the opportunity over the Roosters. Hold, one foot here, hold. Go, two. Well, just shows you how hard it is to make it, isn't it? You know, if you really desperately want it, how hard you, how bad you want it, anything's possible. And they just can't, as you mentioned before, they just can't buy a trip. They've been given opportunities, but they can't convert. Yeah, they just had a. That's two now. It's been one of those games for Point Chef, hasn't it, Monty? I sure has, but like you said, after five Three years now. in this grade and winning back-to-back -back titles himself over the years, you know, you've got to give them credit. Maybe it's a changing of the guard, but I thought the mix here at uh, Point Chef Pirates has been nice in terms of youth and experience. Wonderful achievement by both of these clubs, really. They'll both be celebrating in some way tonight. Well, a wonderful season, too, we must mention, for Howick as well. They got only just beaten last week by Point Chef, 26-24. To make this game today, and Point Chef only just made it. Yeah, well, they were ahead. It was just the pass that really turned the season around. Howick. So close. Did you got that try, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Richie. That's amazing. You're out that way, aren't you? Well, <laughs> or Tahu. Try again next year, mate. Well, <laughs> Seven minutes to play. 26 points to nil, it was 22 nil. And half time, another mistake again from Point Chev. Short Lenore would love one more try here. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it, three. Oh, no. No, there's no reason for this. There you go. There you go, off. Vita Latu there, 32 NRL games in his career, 22 for the Warriors, 10 for the Sharks. One test for the Kiwis in 2004 and still likes to mix it up all these years later as a 36-year-old, eh? Well, there's nothing like being thrown on the ground. It's a dislike sometimes. And that's fair, it should be against... You've got the penalty, leave it alone, right? You've had a good game, finish it off. He has had a good game. Ah, uh, look. Well, Phil Kingy, the captain of this team. Yeah, Tavita Latu. He'll be disappointed with his contribution in this game. Well, you want to finish this game on a high. Let's see if the Glenora Bears can secure this. Wrap this up. Nothing about getting into the 30s. I mean, you can hold a team to zero just to reinforce the dominance. Tiffins. Inside. Siaki comes back against the grain again now. Keard, Tolson Keard. One try to him in the first half. Love a double. Tiffins. Icing on the cake batch coming up here. No, it's been beautifully taken there by Fight to Toa. And it's a penalty to point share for offside. No question, lowaki has been one of the players of the game, Richie. There is no question. The coaching staff on the sideline just egging them on just to keep them to that zero. And what do we have here? Oh. Abraham Papali has been, he's tried, he's trying to get himself involved. He's been well handled in this game. Yeah. Has dropped the ball. It is Alu again getting himself right into the thick of the action. He's not going to stand down, is he? He really is in the thick of things. Oh, this won't be a game that any of these point share pirates players will be watching back, I would think, Richie. No, we certainly won't. It's not the best performance. Abraham there. He tried. But the defence just all over him. Relentless, isn't it? 
Too. He's been on the field for some serious minutes here in this game, too. He's played the whole game, Monty. We might just check there, which is really impressive. Yeah, Pierre's played the whole game, but I tell you what, he, he's been impressive because this side's been so dominant. Yeah, as dominant as they are, he's got more pitch on the tank without a doubt. Let's just hope this game finishes off in the right spirits because it's been a good one played. And this man's been exceptional. Lawaki will enjoy this. Lawaki. Not impressed. Lawaki. Well, he's going to be penalised for that. Something has absolutely incensed him. Walk away. Take him away. Wax, take him away. Dylan, Dylan, take him away, please. Phil, Phil, take him away. Let's have a look here. Time is off. Oh, yeah. The captains. Just go away. Over there, please. Over, away, over there, please. Selinga Kapawa there. Dylan, Dylan, I need you. Well, unfortunately, that's been missed by the referees. Uh, listen, obviously, Phil, Phil, Phil. Hey, hey, hey. What's still going on here? Words are being exchanged here. And Kapawa is, is furious with it. There you go. You're in take danger here of just getting out of control. Back, yeah, he needs to take control. Go. Back you go. And I think it's probably a good time to send take one off, to settle it down. Guys, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Look, if, if there was some contact there, we haven't seen it. Yeah. All right? He doesn't need yeah, to stand up. OK, I, hey, Zach, I don't need you. You're not the captain. We don't need him to throw the ball. We don't need these guys to go on with it. Otherwise, we're going to have, we're, we're going to have a guy sitting down. I understand that. Oh, Kapow's, Kapow's got away with that one, hasn't he? Well, the eye sees it all. Take the line. And it's only four more minutes to go. We just need to finish it off, as Monty said, in, in the spirit that this game needs. It is a grand final. We want to see the game finish in the right manner. That's making a statement right there, right at the end of the game. What a great shot. Here he is, the man. He's going to be done. Here comes Lawaki. Here we go, here we go. I got it. 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 It's amazing what emotions can do, isn't it? Loaki coming in far too late. But the defence was outstanding, wasn't it? Just driving him back, kid. Oh, it's on. This is a rather unfortunate. You think with three minutes to go, yeah. you, call, you call it off. It's just it's just getting too heated. It is, isn't it? Yeah, 26 nil. Well, Iwaki walked away from that previous thing, but he just can't let it go. And sadly, when you look at the scoreline, things look worse, don't it, for the opposition? I'm talking about. It'd be interesting the to see how the officials handle this. 11. Nine, yeah, 11. Nine, 11. 11 first. You can sit down, mate. Repeat a finish from later. Sit down. Shoulder charge. We do the shoulder charge. He's going to sit down. Thanks, Phil. Nine. Nine. No, no. Mate, he's going to No, he doesn't need to come in. Nine, please. Hey, Dylan, this is a silly end of the game, mate. He's going to sit down as well. Where you go? Well, for the second we're time in the game, Latu's been bid. It's extraordinary. We've run in and gone on with it. Hey, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I thought. We've only got enough. Well, disappointing the way this has ended. But let's be honest, it was a um, fantastic first half of football from Glenora. We really enjoyed it. And I think we should talk about the game itself mm. instead of this, and it, and it really does deserve it. Well, let's hope that's the end of the, the niggle in this game. Here's Moses, he still wants to play the game. Can the point chef Pirates end with a try in these last couple of minutes? Pai plays the ball, out to Moses. Kapana's dropped the ball. Just a lock on, fellas. Scrum here, bears ball. Well, again. Kapana, that threatened us. Was just wondering whether I might blow up there again, Richie, because Kapanga, remember, was the man that put the shot on Lawaki, which started everything. And thankfully, the players just tapped him and walked away. They're yeah, running straight in the defence. You're really not causing, you're not asking questions. You're running into their hands again. Lenora just coming up with a big I'm shot. In weak conditions, well, you know, you you're going to lose the ball more often than not. All right, get your heads in the right place, guys. Yeah, put it in. Let's see them. Out. Right to Tyra, they're making a tackle on Siaki. Yeah, have 15, 15, let him go. Oh. Last minute of the game as Siaki and Fight to Tyra come together. Here's Kier. Ooh. Katana was in there trying to make a big shot on him again, wasn't he? Of course, Kier made that big tackle on Sapanga afterwards in the next play. So I think Kapango might have been looking for a bit of payback there on Tulsa Kier. Well, this is going to be the slowest set in the entire history. <laughs> 30 seconds to play. And Glenora, they're going to be the Fox Memorial champions for 2017. Fantastic season for them. Great season two for point share, but they're going to come up just short again for the second year in a row. And that is going to do it. That is going to be the end of the game. How long we've got this, you know? Well, there might be just a few seconds left to play. Kick and chase. Kick and chase. There it is. First time in 18 years, Glenora win the Fox Memorial and the Auckland Club Championship heads west. A dominant performance from the Spears side today. They lead 22 0 at half time. Just the one score in the second half. Five tries to nil. And another season where points have just come up short. That's what it means to be a champion. Kavaliku. the rest of this Glenora Bears side. Fabulous season for them. Yes, they've off, lost a few games, but they've really won the ones that have mattered, including this final. Let's get down to Marty Beetham for some after-match reaction. Well, I'm a few tears, emotional scenes for you right now. What's going through your mind? Yes, it's not been the best year for me. Just over to my, my junior club for bringing me back home. Um, bringing joy back into my life, and, and it's been a tough beginning of the year for me, but I'm just thankful and blessed to yeah, be a part of this and give back to my, uh, yeah, to my community and people around me. I think you repaid that faith because your contributions today were outstanding and a big part to the reason why the Bears are su successful tonight. Yeah, um, you know, I owe it to the boys. Um, yeah, like I said before, they've held me tight at the beginning of the year, and uh, yeah, they keep me grounded. and. Um, yeah, just thankful for the boys. There's a great crowd supporting you here today, uh, supporting what the Bears were doing. There's also a great crowd back at the club, no doubt. 1999 was the last time that the Bears have won this cup. 
Are you happy you're taking that trophy home? Yeah, it's good to take it back home, Bell West. Um, it's been a while, and yeah, the, the fans have been here, rain, shine, and they're always supporting us, so yeah, just thankful. How special is this team? I mean, no doubt that the Point Chief Pirates have been here for five years in a row, but they didn't even get a look in today. Exceptional work from the Bears. Yeah, over to Bernie, our coach, you know, we brought um, all these boys together and, like I said, got to know us personally and what we uh, go through and he sort of brought us tight, so... Yes. Love you, boy. You mentioned it was a hard year, but I'm sure there's a man upstairs, uh, Wax, who's uh, looking down at his younger brother and so proud of you, Toko. Yeah, bro, I miss you, Toko. Love you, brother. What a game from him. And of course, tough year he's referring to as the, the passing of his brother, Sioni. And what a game from him. He was just absolutely phenomenal in that first half, Richie. Just uh, fantastic. I mean, these pictures just tell a story. It does, and I love what he, the emotion that came out because that's the true why we play the game, and it's, it's more than a game. It's about your, your, your other players, it's about your family. And if you bring it all together, you ask the real question of why we play this game. It was an emotional speech. Well, much more to come here from the number two ground at Mount Smart Stadium. In a moment, the presentation and the Bears will get their hands on with the trophy for the first time in 18 years. Racing the Rapco for Father's Day gifts. Cash Gold Magnatec 10W40 with bonus oil filter, only $39.99. 50% off Mac Pro 143 piece toolkit, just $199. Or for the perfect Father's Day press the idea, grab a Rapco gift card. Rapco's Father's Day catalogue out now. Not everyone uses their car in the same way. At UE Insurance, we work with you to ensure that your premium matches how you use your car. So give us a call and let's make your insurance all about you. Try this for size. Right now at Macca's, you can get our legendary cheeseburger with any size fries and any size soft drink for just $5. That's right, any size cheeseburger combo for just 5 bucks. At Sky, as a responsible broadcaster, we comply with the broadcasting codes of practice. But if you feel we've breached a standard, you can send us a formal complaint. You can write us a letter or log on to our website and go to the complaints page. You'll need to mention the name of the program, the date and time it was on, and the standard you feel has been breached. Send your letter to this address or jump online to sky.co.nz. Let us know within 20 working days from when the program aired. We pass the saving on to you so that you can do more. Bluetooth earmuffs are only $69. LED torch, just $18. Where you find a competitor's lower price on the same stock item, we'll beat it by 15%. Lowest prices are just the beginning. That's our fault. Seven seats. In. Princesses, wizards and skeletons. In. Monthly shop. In. Fridge. In. No key needed. Everybody in. You out. Phone goes in. Disco out, but coming back in. Looking good in. Feeling at ease in. In, 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 and in Outlander. Just 32,990 plus on roads, everything's in. New Mitsubishi Outlander. Razine is splashing out with two great offers. Buy one Razine test pot, get one free. And get 25% off Razine 10 litre premium paint. Only for a limited time, only with Razine. Let's talk about your business and the bank you do business with. Every business needs a bank, but does every bank give your business what it needs? Do they work hard for you? No one can question your commitment. But can you question theirs? Every business needs to make a profit, but do these profits need to go overseas? Every business needs a bank. Does your business need a new one? Then join a bank that will join you. Well, it's a wet old Mount Smart Stadium, but 
the sun is shining out west here in Auckland, no doubt about that. The Bears 26 points to nil. They're about to get the trophy. Morley coming up though later in the week though, of course, uh, with the New Zealand Secondary Schools Championship. That's coming in on Friday from Takanini. Looking forward to that one. And then we have the coverage of the National Championship starting very soon. But we hope you've enjoyed the coverage, courtesy of the Auckland Rugby League. Thanks to them with finals day here at Mount Smart Stadium. Let's go to the presentation though now of the Fox Memorial Trophy with Stephen McIver. We are a hardy bunch to stand out here in this sort of weather and appreciate a fine game of rugby league. Don't go away, Point Chev, please. We're about to hand out the runner-up medals and the championship trophy, Point Chev. Don't go away, please. I'd like to introduce the official party, Cameron McGregor, the chairman of Auckland Rugby League, Shane Price, the deputy chairman of Auckland Rugby League, Tim Connolly, the managing director of SAS, the presenting sponsor of the SAS Fox Memorial Shield, and members of the Price family with the Doug Price Memorial Medal going to the player of the day. We've got Gloria Neal, Imogen Neal, little Oddie Hull, the great-granddaughter, and Simon Hull. Now I'd like to hear first of all from uh, Cameron McGregor, the chairman of the Rugby League. You want to hand him the microphone there? Come up, Cameron. By all means. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What a game. I'm, I'm really proud of both of these teams and the display they put on here today. It was a hard game of football with no quarter given and reminds me of some of the, the games that we had in latter years. Congratulations to Glenora on a great win. It's been a few years between his drink, boys, but well-deserved. Had a great year, and I'm sure it'll be a great night tonight. Congratulations. To Point Chevalier, you've been our top side for three years, and it's been a lot to live up to, I know. Congratulations on your efforts this year. Hold your heads high. You've represented your club really well, and I'm sure everybody at your club is very proud of your efforts this year. So congratulations to Point Chevalier as well. On behalf of the Auckland Rugby League, thank you to all our supporters and our sponsors, especially Tim Connolly from SAS. Uh, these people are really important to us, so please support them. And thanks everybody for coming along today. Thank you. Thank you, Cameron. Now it's time to hand out the official medallions to the officials who have all day, through three matches and six hours of live rugby league, have done an amazing job. Please put your hands together for Shane Rem, the lead referee, his touchies, Anthony Ellett and Simon Taylor, and the match manager, Greg Williams. They are your match officials here today. And without them and the other, all the volunteers that go through the Auckland Rugby League, games like this and the whole competition wouldn't happen. So if you are a volunteer out there, congratulations to you as well. And now I'll ask Dylan Moses, the captain of Point Chevalier, to come up and have a wee chat. And while he's doing that, the Point Chevalier Pirates to receive their runner-up medals. Dylan, come over here, mate. I know it's freezing cold. I know, and I've got a jacket and I'm freezing. Mate, congratulations on a final, but... Jeez, a little one side, not probably what you expected. No, nah, yeah, there's no excuses. Um, they, they were the better team on the day. Um, the, they've been the better team all year, and um, you know they deserve that win. It was tough footy, and it's it's so nice to see footy played in that right spirit. Yeah, that's right. It's finals footy, so everything's on the line. Um, there's no tomorrow, and um, yeah, like I said, they fully deserve that win. How are you feeling right now? Cold. <laughs> yeah. You, is, it, is it tough to come up and have a chat and, and think of what might have been? Uh, yeah, I think I think it'll get more tougher as the week goes on, but um, I just want this to hurry up so I can get back in the change rooms, mate. OK, subtle head, mate. Congratulations on making the final once again. Dylan, congratulations. Dylan Moses, the captain of the runners-up in 2017 in the SAS Fox Memorial Point Chevalier. Now I'd like to ask Tim Connolly from SAS to come and say a few words. Tim? It, it's a pleasure to be here today. Uh, we're all united by the love and the power of Rugby League. Uh, the Fox is now 86 years old, but it still binds communities together, as we've seen today, and creates great opportunities for young men to find their pathway in Rugby League. We saw that today with two fine teams on the field, um, and congratulations to Glenora, obviously, but also to Point Chev, the Pirates, for five years in a row, 
being in the finals. Great effort. But Glenora looked pretty sharp in those blue jerseys today. Um, and, we're, and we're delighted to have our partner win. I'd like to thank, obviously, the supporters, the players, the coaches, the managers, the officials, and everybody that has made today such a good day and the heart of rugby league in New Zealand. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, Tim. And without uh, the likes of the commercial support from SAS, competitions like this just wouldn't happen. All right, now it's time to hear from the winning captain of the Glenora Bears, Philip Kingy. And while Philip is having a chat to me, the lads will pick up their winner's medals. I know it's cold. Thanks for being patient, but congratulations. Uh, blotted them. How, how sweet is that? Oh, you know, they've been a pinnacle of the comp for the last, you know, four or five years, so we knew it would be tough. I'm a bit surprised at the score, but that's the way it ended up. So full credit to the boys for an awesome performance. The performance led by some very...